Hi, this is Nick Grady. I'm an applications engineer here at Go Engineer. Today, I'm going to demonstrate some of the new functionality found in eDrawings 2015. As you can see, eDrawings has a completely new user interface. Because tablets and many laptop computers today have touchscreen displays, eDrawings has made the icons larger and easier to select with your fingers. As a matter of fact, today's video is being recorded via remote desktop connection on an iPad just so that we can demonstrate this functionality. eDrawings still has the same functionality from before, but in a different layout. For example, we can move components, and if we are on the shop floor with our tablet, we can easily show how the components go together to make the finished product. And just as easy as it is to move the components, we can reset everything back to its original place, sending the components to where they were originally located. Also, we can do sections. And the section tool works just as you would expect, except here, I'm doing this with my fingers on the screen, making eDrawings just as intuitive as SolidWorks. And we can make measurements right on the screen as well. Adding markups on the fly is just as easy. And you can add comments, suggestions, and design changes to your drawings in the field when you are not at your desk, making eDrawings that much more versatile. The component tree is hidden away to maximize screen area for your drawing, with functionality to suppress components on the fly to easily see where they are located and how they interact with your design. When a file is given to the customer or a new employee, this allows for easy understanding of how the individual components fit together with minimal understanding of the whole project. eDrawings also borrowed the concept of the heads-up display from SolidWorks. Here, I am able to quickly and easily move, rotate, and zoom into my product to get more detail on what I need at the time with minimal effort and manipulation of the screen. I can choose different views and even change the style view of my product, such as wireframe and shaded, and see the product with a different display style right inside of eDrawings. eDrawings is also popular to view simulation results, but now you can quickly view fixtures and loads right inside eDrawings. This allows the designer to easily see how the simulation was set up to interpret the results and allow for more detailed analysis of how the results were obtained and to share those with third parties who may not have SOLIDWORKS simulation. eDrawings now supports results exported from SOLIDWORKS Plastic as well with control over the title and legend. This can be useful in showing a customer where the product may fail during the ejection process and give a designer a better understanding of where to make changes to affect manufacturing outcomes. This was Nick Grady with Go Engineer, showing you the new features in eDrawings 2015.